Mathematics 1, Partial Fractions. We'll now try a harder example. In this case, the numerator has got a squared factor in it as well as the denominator. So how we're going to deal with this is we're going to start by dividing the numerator by the denominator. We do this in the usual way with algebraic division. So we write the numerator here, the denominator is here. Our first question is what do we have to do to this term to get this term? The answer is multiply it by 3, which is why we've got 3 here. So now I'm going to multiply all of this term by 3. So 3 6x squared gives me 18x squared. 3 times minus x gives me minus 3x. And 3 times minus 12 will give me minus 36. We're now going to subtract this line from this line. So 18x squared minus 18x squared gives us nothing. Minus 8x minus minus 3x will leave us with minus 5x. And minus 54 minus minus 36 gives us minus 18. So that means 6x squared minus x minus 12 divides into 18x squared minus 8 minus 54 three times with a remainder of minus 5x minus 18. I've just taken the minus sign outside of the 5x and the 18x. Now we'll consider just the fractional term. Notice I'm ignoring the negative sign here, just for simplicity, but we'll need to bring that back in later. So first of all, we factorise the denominator. So 6x squared minus x minus 12, you can see, is 3x plus 4 times 2x minus 3, which means that we can write that 5x plus 18 over 6x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to a over 3x plus 4, plus b over 2x minus 3. We put the right hand side over a common denominator and then we can cancel the denominators on both sides. Which means that 5x plus 18 is equal to a times 2x minus 3 plus b times 3x minus 4. To get rid of this bracket we're going to let x equal minus 4 over 3. And we put that into the expression. We've, we've got 5 times minus 4 over 3 plus 18 and we've got 2 times minus 4 over 3 minus 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 and then simplify. So 5 times minus 4 is minus 20, 3 times 18 is 54, 2 times minus 4 is 8 and 3 times 3 is minus 9. 54 minus 20 is 34, minus 8 minus 9 is minus 17, so that means that a is equal to minus 2. To find the value of b, we're going to let x equal minus 3 over 2. To find the value of b, we're going to let x equal 3 over 2. So we have 5 times 3 over 2 plus 18 plus b times 3 times 3 over 2 plus 4. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 and simplify. So we're going to get 15 plus 36 is equal to b times 9 plus 8. 15 plus 36 is 51, 9 plus 8 is 17, 51 divided by 17 is 3, so b is equal to 3, which means that we can write that 5x plus 18 over 6x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to minus 2 over 3x plus 4 plus 3 over 2x minus 3. So now we need to do a sanity check. We're going to substitute our values for a and b into equation 1. So we have minus 2 times 2x minus 3 plus 3 times 3x plus 4. If we expand that, we're going to get minus 4x plus 6 plus 9x plus 12. And that's going to give us 5x minus 18, which means that our partial fractions are correct. Now we need to put the whole thing together. So bringing in the minus sign that we ignored right at the beginning, this becomes plus. We've got 2 over 3x plus 4 minus 3 over 2x minus 3, giving us the final answer.